Let's determine the domain and range of this function right here. Now anytime we're asked to find the range of a function, we're really going to need a graph of that function, or at least some kind of a sketch. The first thing that we notice is that we're dealing with an x squared function. This is a parabola opening upwards. We're doing a few things to this basic toolkit uh, x squared graph. We're shifting it. Right three units, this plus three on the outside is a shift of up three units. And this 7 is an A value. It's like a vertical stretch. So we're going to stretch this thing out vertically, and it's going to make it skinny. What does this graph end up looking like? Well, you take your whole parabola, you shift the whole thing right 3, you shift the whole thing up 3, and you make it skinny. It's going to look something like that. At least this is enough of a sketch to get our domain and range. So while we don't need a graph to find the domain of this function, maybe it's helpful. We think of domain as like a scanner from left to right. As we scan from left to right, we ask the question, is our scanner crossing the function somewhere? And because we can assume that this graph goes on forever to the left and forever to the right, the answer to the question is always yes. No matter what my x value is, my scanner is always touching some point on our graph. So our domain, is just negative infinity to infinity. Of course, we could have gotten that domain just by looking at the function. We could have asked the question, are there any even roots? And the answer is no. And we could have asked the question, are there any denominators? And the answer is no. So our domain has no restrictions, therefore it's all real numbers, which we write in interval notation like that, or we can write it with an R. Now our range, we think of as a scanner from the bottom to the top of a graph. And at every y value, we have to ask the question, is this scanner crossing the graph somewhere? The answer is no. There is no piece of this function that's down here. As we continue scanning upwards, the answer to the question becomes yes as soon as we hit y equals 3. And from that point up, there's always a y value on this graph all the way up to infinity. So our range is going to start at 3, and it's going to go all the way up to infinity. And that is it.